Today I'm going to show you how to replace Cinnamon with LXQT on a brand new installation of Linux Mint 20. Let's start by installing Linux Mint. Installation is finished. Time to restart the computer. So we start Linux Mint and we're ready to start using our new system. And we have our brand new Linux Mint in a nutshell. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be installing what we want, which is LXQT. I prefer OpenBox. Normally, the, the LXQT package installs the XFC components. I prefer to be a little bit lighter, so I will have OpenBox, the OpenBox configuration, the Compton compositor. Uh, I know that may seem an overkill for a light system. You may or may not install it. I like to install it because I like the transparency. We also are also going to remove what we don't want, everything that has to do with Cin Cinnamon, with MetaCity, the XFC components that were installed. Optionally, you can remove the applications that have fu duplicated functionality. When we install LXQT, it comes with certain applications that will duplicate the applications that are already installed in Linux Mint. That, again, is a very, very personal decision. I'm listing here some of the duplicated ones for you to have a look and maybe decide which ones you want to keep. And finally, we are going to configure LXQT and OpenBox. Again, I'm not going to get into the details there because it's a very personal decision. So. Why don't we start right now? Let's copy the command. And you will see here it installs a lot of applications. I recommend that you copy the list of packages that uh, that are going to be installed for you to review at a later time to see what uh, that is installed you care about maybe you want to remove certain things i could have also gone package by package and just select what i wanted but yeah, i think it's easier to remove if you see is here it's gonna install xfconf xfwm4 so instead of going one by one it's easier to remove just what we don't want so let's continue here and we're done with this part of the installation. Before we remove anything, let's restart our system. Here, once that is restarted, we get to the login screen. Now we can change to the LXQT desktop. And we say that we're going to use OpenBox as our window manager. And we have our new system up and running. It seems that it's working well. So now it's time to start removing the components that we don't want. We copy the command again. Let's open a console. And again, it's a good idea to copy into a document everything that we installed. If some, something is giving us a tr trouble, now we know what to do. So we're going to continue removing what we don't want. And everything is uninstalled. So we're going to leave and reboot. See you in a couple of seconds. And we're done. Now the next step is going to be for you to configure your environment the way you want. Click on this link to see a video with a sample configuration showing where to change all the settings. If you enjoyed this video, click like. If you have questions or comments, add a comment and I will reply. Until next time, see you around.